this is just a horrible story. You know, I didn't cover the Sandusky uh, trial or story that much. And for me, the story has always been how this guy was enabled to do what he did. And I still contend that class and race played a big part in this. But if these kids were not poor kids, he would not have been able to continue doing what he'd done for so long. And now, apparently, uh, you, you know, Louis Free is investigating uh, the whole thing at um, Penn State. As to how it was that Sandusky uh, was never in any way officially reprimanded or turned into the authorities after an assistant coach saw him firsthand raping a 10-year-old boy. So apparently this uh, assistant coach, everybody knows this story, Mike McCrary, went to, um, went to Paterno, told Paterno what he had seen. Paterno, in turn, brought it up to the university's president, Graham B. Spanier, the athletic director, uh, Tim Curley, the campus police, Gary Schultz. And apparently, those three had determined that they would have to tell authorities. But according to emails, and Paterno never used email, but according to emails, characterizing conversations that they had with Paterno, it seems that Spanier, Curly, Schultz all decided after talking to Paterno that they should not do anything about this. And all they did, apparently, was just tell Jerry Sandusky's charity that, hey, you guys may have a problem. This charity that seems to be basically a feeder for this serial rapist and child molester, you may have a problem, but, you know, whatever. Now, of course, uh, Paterno passed away in January. And uh, the... Uh, Spania resigned as the president of Penn State uh, back, I don't know, six to eight months ago. But all of the people who are involved in enabling and covering up for this guy should go to jail, in my estimation. They are accessories. It's, it's just unbelievable. And if you think for a moment, that if any of those victims were wealthy kids or kids whose parents in any way they would have calculated could threaten the Penn State program or their careers, that they wouldn't have made a different decision, then you're absolutely wrong. This is not to say that wealthy kids are not subject to... Um, to rape, pedophilia, or incest, or any of that. But in this specific situation, it must have gone into their calculations that Sandusky is just basically using kids who have no real power whatsoever to, uh, to, to prey upon. And that this diminished the threat of, of somebody blowing the whistle. And so, therefore, they just went along. It's stunning. It really is just stunning.